my thoughts. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watching cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite sized rappers now sensing my heart. What the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We're jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle in order to bring you the brand new Majin Buu transforming, of course, because what would what good would a uh majin buu be if he didn't transform like that's literally all the recent majin buus that have come out have been transform transformation units and uh speaking about transforming uh and transformations uh by subscribing to the channel that'll just transform your life into something incredible so don't forget to do that gently rub that subscribe button gingerly ring that bell button essentially this the like button as i elbow the hell out of my chair anyway uh, we're going into this with a very, very wonky theme, as you can see. It's probably confusing as to all hell. Um, I really just made this team to benefit the tech Majin Buu, and the reason why we're jumping into Infinite Dragon Ball history is we want to be able to see all the turns, uh, because all the transformations, because it takes a while for this Buu to really get going, but once he gets going, He's on par with LRs. Like, it's actually insane how good this Majin Buu is. In case you guys don't know what he does or what team we're bringing, I'm actually going to show you in one second. Uh, I think I will leave this right here. I think this should be okay. Uh, the reason why is... Um, oh, wow, that's a lot of tech orbs. That's nice. Uh, because I want to get... Well, I want to get one of these boos alongside of the uh, physical fat boo um because for whatever reason oh, i forgot that uh they absorb attacks actually did i bring anybody yeah okay he does do uh physical attacks that's interesting because he does a kamehameha but they still consider that a physical attack that's very fascinating but regardless um here's our first transformation third turn evil boo coming out he expended he expunged he threw out all the evilness in him which is very good um so this is actually a great rotation this is what i wanted to see already um as you can see here we have the tech boot transform um he is going to what, what is your super tech is it key based as well no it is not okay so that's good um as you can see the sticker also isn't really that impressive on him not a fan of that because he doesn't really have anything that would uh, besides the effects he's not doing anything like i really think that the little purple aura that they had around him should have been an, a sticker effect, but alas, they decided not to do anything. Um, this is the physical boo that I'm bringing. He's not good, in case you're wondering. Like, the only reason I brought him here is because he shares a lot of links. Um, I mean, his passive is he recovers 25% HP when uh, HP is 40% or below. Uh, like, he just is terrible, right? Um, just nothing, nothing really good about him. Uh, he causes extreme damage and lowers defense. Um, surprisingly, his his defense is at 51,000. That's actually <laughs> kind of surprised me, uh, to be honest. But um, yeah, does he even do key? Okay, so his isn't key based either. And it doesn't look like his is. Uh, okay, so good. We might be able to. Who's actually the only one? So the physical cell and the physical kid boot. Okay, that's actually good. So everyone else, I didn't even plan this. Everybody else kind of just works perfectly uh, against the 18 or the 19 and the 20. So that's uh, pretty darn good. But. Um, let's check out this Tech Boo's super attack and uh, see what he does here. Um, but essentially, he's a double lead. Woo, look at this. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, that looks so sick. 4.2 million crit. All right, my boy. Calm it down. You haven't even begun to fight. <laughs> he is the Majin and Artificial Life Forms lead. Uh, for Majin, he is uh, key plus four, HP attack and defense 170%. I should say it's Majin power, but it's like Majin. Um, the Majin category is not good. Like, it's very, very limited. It's him, like, LR, uh, Oob, um, a pretty much, like, you know, Android 21, uh, Physical Kid Boo, uh, the Intelligence 21, um, what was it, uh, Bobbity, uh, Boo, Boo Kid Bobbity or whatever. Um, the Intelligence Kid Boo, the Intelligence in Go, uh, Buhan, um, the Strength Majub, who's terrible, uh, the Transforming Strength Majin Boo, um, the AoE Fat Boo, um, 
and you know that's like really the only good units on here uh everyone else is like just not great uh but he's also the artificial uh leader uh, oh this is actually great this is fantastic we get the physical uh, lr here he takes the super attack we got the intelligence one doing his super attack so we're looking pretty right here um, he's also the artificial life forms leader, which is nice. Uh, key plus three HP and attack 170% plus defense 130%. I do like the extra health, um, hence why even though we have some like pretty wonky characters on this team, we're still at a very very high uh, HP. And I could have threw um, a lot of baby on here if I really wanted to, but I decided not to. 2.2, pretty good. Um, so in his in his fat boo form. Um, in the base form that he has when he's out before he transforms uh, essentially he gives himself 100 percent attack 40 percent damage reduction and only one key um he does increase his attack by 50 percent when he supers and he causes immense damage which is nice now that he's transformed for both he is just pure evil majin buu and i really mean that that's what he's called at this point he's pure evil majin buu and uh we're actually gonna get both of them on this turn which is fine um because we're going to be able to wreck house here. It's going to be very nice. So now he's still greatly raising his attack. Um, the difference is now he's got the ability to seal the super attack, which is phenomenal. Um, and he's given himself another key and 50% extra attack. So now he's at two key, 150% attack. Uh, his damage reduction is still at 40%, which is good. Um, but now he's got a 50% chance of stunning the enemy. And um, he's also got a 25% uh, chance of dodging which is super good. So this dude's just big time gotten very, very good, right? Um, so now we have to wait four more turns and we have to be above 70% HP and then we can transform again. And uh, we will transform to Super Boo at that point. Um, so really, I'm just running him on uh, what I would consider probably his best team. I mean, you could throw him on Transformation Boost. That would probably be his best team. Um, Resurrected Warriors, I would imagine, is pretty good. You probably wouldn't put them on Kamehameha. You probably wouldn't put them on Time Travelers. Uh, which is always weird that they say Time Travelers. Because it's like... I mean, he, he didn't travel through time. He was just locked away. Uh, so it's like... That's not really a Time Traveler. He, he's just like done nothing for thousands of years. And you're considering him a Time Traveler. Like Bojack. Bojack was sealed away. Imprisoned. For uh, like hundreds of years, I think. And... Uh, they're like, oh, he's a time traveler. Like, what? That, that's not how that works. Anyway, um, so yeah, he's very good in this particular form. We still are going to see, take a little bit to uh, see him at his strongest. But uh, as you can see, like this 76,000 HP or er, uh, defense, that's not bad, huh? This uh, Fat Boo is actually um, holding his own better than I thought he would. <laughs> like, I'm actually surprised. But what do we have? 581,000 HP. That's pretty good or a um just like a little joke unit that i brought brought along and he's doing fairly well well now that i say that how much does he get hit for Fifty-two thousand. that's not bad dude there's better units that get hit for worse like what that's pretty darn good anyway um all right not that much not that much again he's hitting type disadvantage and he didn't get a crit so that makes sense that he would only hit for sixty-six thousand. actually i should take a look at what his card art looks like uh, oh no, we already looked at the sticker. We already looked at the sticker art, so that's not a bad thing. Oh, okay, so here we go. So now we finally have the transformation, the active skill. This active skill is uh, absorbing the boo, and we will use it at this point. He's not going to be at his strongest, uh, simply because, you know, he's going to, uh, I love that, turns it around and then just eats him. Um, because he's on a... He's on a what's it called a, a rotation with the two cells, so it's like this isn't this isn't the spot for him. But I wanted to get that that uh, rotation started off just right, and uh, I think we'll do this, and mm -hmm. we'll do this, and we're only gonna get one rainbow orb. You do want as many rainbow orbs uh, for this man, so if you are able to um, bring an orb changer that puts a certain type to rainbow that would be fantastic the reason why is now he still raises his attack by 50 percent when he super attacks but now it stacks for three turns which is fantastic he's still sealing super attacks which is beautiful he's at 2.7 okay that i mean 2.7 is insane seeing as like the links on here are very bad um and super attack is pretty dope too 
Um, but now he's at three key, 220% attack. He's now reducing damage by 50%. And um, essentially, what's it called? For every rainbow orb he gets, he's increasing his crit by 12%, which is insane. Like, so theoretically, you can uh, increase it to like 58%, I think is the cap, because five rainbow orbs, I believe, is the most that you can get. Um, but even still, that is pretty strong. 50 something percent crit. 50% damage reduction, 220% attack, seals, stacking attack, what? This dude is freaking ridiculous, like he's actually insane. So the links that he's going to be sharing with this physical boo, by the way, um, I believe he's gotten rid of revival, he did, kind of crappy, but it is what it is, oh and we're going to get a Doken attack, holy crap, couldn't get any better. Um, but now we have uh, Majin, which is going to give health back. Uh, we got uh, infinite um, regeneration. Uh, we have uh, the wall standing tall. And uh, unfortunately, I don't believe we have fierce battle, which kind of sucks. But uh, we are getting some nice support from this tech cell, who's a great tech support lead. Wow, look how slow this is going. This is beautiful. No, oh, I accidentally pressed the screen. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That is quite unfortunate. But I, I do feel like we're doing quite a lot of damage to this guy, huh? And HP has just been coming back because we have so much uh, regeneration, so it hasn't even been an issue whatsoever. But let's see how much damage we can do. Not even a crit. Dude, if it was a crit, that would have been like 7 million. Are you kidding? And we're only taking 45 damage? What? That 50%. That was a pretty impressive sell. That is rather good. Like, I understand that was just the first form cell, but holy crap. Um, okay, so I think we'll just do a few more attacks here. And uh, I'm very impressed with this boo. He is very, very, very good. This guy does quite a Like, he just does a lot. And that's the thing that we have to start rating units on is how much do they do? Um, it's always why I rate uh, LR Kaelin Khalifa so highly, even still, is because at this point they're still the best defensive unit in the game. Um, not just because they stack attack or stack defense, it's because they also stack dodge. Like, they cap out at 66% dodge, which is just silly. Like, it's actually insane how high their dodge gets. Look at that friend defense. Why is he... He's so much better than mine. What the hell? Oh, uh, he's been stacking attack. That's why. Of course, of course, of course. That makes a ton of sense. But this should be very good. This should be very... So we'll take that... He's just taking no damage. And he's over 3 million with just one linking partner. Like, that's really all it is. Just one guy that he's getting links with. 2.3. These crits are coming. And I'm enjoying it. Guys, uh, impressive. Very impressive. Uh, if you are equally as impressed with this YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, gently rub that sub button. Gingerly ring that bell button. Sensually mwah, kiss the like button. As always, this is Periodic. See y'all in the next video.